Hey guys, this is Luminaire 180 with the Culture Primate, and today I'm gonna go ahead and check out this game that I've been have I've had it sitting on my backlog for quite a while. Um, I actually downloaded it because I was interested in some type of like aerial dogfighting game. I really like you know spaceships and airplanes and stuff like that. I think they're really fun, you know, flying around and some you know twisting and turning. Sometimes you get really dizzy, and I just love the action of it. So this is Strike Vector EX. It was a free game for PlayStation Plus a while back and I've had it sitting there and I hadn't had a chance to try it, but today I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. So as you can see here, we're gonna go ahead and do a squad battle on the online multiplayer. I got my ship here that I've customized with a little bit of like a tiger shark kind of pattern to it. You know, with some custom colors. That's pretty cool. You can actually customize the parts of the ship and there's different weapon selections you can choose for online and they all kind of have a different play style to them. So basically I'm just going to go ahead and jump in on this battle online so that way you guys can see what it's like. Okay, so here we go. We got a squad battle here. First person to 30 points wins. So basically you get the points from the kills and all of that. Alright, and here's where you get to choose your weapons. It's got different things like homing missiles, you got kind of like a sniper rifle type weapon, and a Gatling gun type thing. Okay, as you can see here, the blue cross, the blue diamonds, those are my allies. And then the red ones are my enemies. Okay, and one thing I like about the game is you do have like a stationary mode, kind of, where the ship kind of hovers. And you could kind of use it to reposition yourself and kind of change your pitch and angle and stuff like that. Which is pretty good for strategy when you're trying to like line the shit up to get the, uh, you know, different shots. Or if you're just trying to maybe navigate in some of these crevices here to find heals. Because you can find like different little power-ups and stuff like that that'll either reduce the cooldown on your weapons or your abilities. Or you can find heals in there also. So I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys see how I'm playing. I'm playing with homing missiles. I've kind of, after playing a little bit, I, I, I was having trouble against everybody that was using homing missiles because I couldn't really figure out how to escape them or dodge them or whatever the case is. So I decided to give them a try and I seemed to like get a lot of kills with them and maybe a lot of other people are having the same issue. Maybe you can't get away from them. I'm not sure. But I like them a lot feel like it's harder to actually like miss and stuff too because all you really got to do is if you get close enough and you get your enemy in the crosshairs it'll lock on and it'll actually fire the homing missiles another cool thing is too is when you die you actually have a chance that your ship is still flying burning you could actually like kamikaze bomb your enemies with your blowing up ship I actually have a moment up here where I actually do it. Somebody kills me and then I send my ship flying straight into them and I actually get a kill out of it. It's pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of like Last Stand in Call of Duty or something like that where he pulls out the pistol and you're on the floor dying and you got like one last chance to take him down with you and that's really cool. You also have like hazards on the map, like these uh, domes here, they're full of like fuel or something like that, you can actually blow those up. So maybe if your enemies are near them or something like that, you could actually blow those up and hurt your enemies, which is pretty cool. I'll show you an example here, let's see. See how I let off the throttle and I kind of rotate the ship and then boost again? It gives you a lot of mobility. It's actually really cool. I actually kind of, I really enjoyed the ship, it ha uh, the, the game. It actually has a pretty cool campaign mode that teaches you how to use everything. And it's got a little bit of a story to it. I didn't get too far into it, but it does seem pretty interesting. 
it is a good way for you to like learn the controls of the ships and stuff like that but really i mean i kind of just jumped into the multiplayer after playing like maybe one or two levels of the campaign just to learn the controls and just kind of went at it and let myself get killed a few times and finally kind of got the hang of it so but the game is actually very fun if you if you want a really cheap game or possibly even a game that you might have already ha that you might already have for free if you added it to your library when it was free you know and you just want to scratch that itch for like a uh, airplane shooter spaceship shooter type game this this game is really cool you know you could really just jump in every now and then and just scratch that itch of being able to fly around and shoot things So as you can see we're in the lead there. I actually have five kills right now. So you could really change your pitch a lot. You could kind of really just, if you let off the throttle, you could completely change the angle of your ship and then hit the throttle again and you'll start flying in that direction. So it's really, really useful for like really like I said, getting into those crevices, like you can see I'm looking for heals, so you could avoid enemy fire, things like that. You could kind of lose people in there, and if they're not as good pilots as you, they'll, they'll crash. And that actually counts as, uh, they actually lose a point if they destroy themselves. See, as you can see, I'm like launching my homing missiles, and then I'm, I keep moving, you know. As you can see, like, I, I'm, I'm having a blast with the game. Like, it's really damn fun. There are a lot of really cool abilities that you can use. Like, the one I have equipped now, I don't, I'm sure you've seen me use it a couple of times already. I pop a green bubble around myself to heal. Um, it's it's actually like a, a nano bot ability or something like that that actually repairs the ship. You have a bunch of different ones. You could drop mines. There's an EMP that will actually disrupt people's abilities. There's a bunch of different ones that are really cool. See, there you go. That's where a kamikaze bomb the guy. I actually got a kill for that. It's pretty cool. Actually, two of them. Because as from the grave times two there. So that was a, that was two kills there. If you were like me and when Battlefront came out, you know, like, that game came out and I'm really not the type of person to be too into first person shooters or third person or, you know, any type of shooter really. Like, I'm really into Overwatch and I like Destiny a lot, but you won't really catch me playing Call of Duty or anything like that. But a game like this, you know, when, when Battlefront came out, I spent most of my time in the, the actual space battles. You know, flying the TIE Fighters and the X-Wings and stuff like that. That's the part of the game that I enjoyed the most. And this game kind of like hits that same note. It scratches that same itch for me, you know. To, I could just fly around and shoot things, which is, to me is really fun. You know, another one that was really good for stuff like that was War Thunder. War Thunder is more of a simulation though, so it is a little more complex. And there are a lot of controls and buttons. And it actually is a little bit better on PC because there are so many different uh, buttons and commands that you can do that control so many different things on the planes that you know it's actually better with a keyboard uh, I kind of I enjoyed it a lot when I was playing it on the PS4 but uh, some of the issues I ran into were there were certain things that I couldn't like um, 
programmed to buttons on the controller just because the controller didn't have enough buttons. So I kind of had to just put my essential controls and just kind of use what I was able to fit onto the controller. Uh, but this game, the controls are super simple. I think you use like a total of like four buttons. It uses the two control sticks and literally like two or three buttons. So it's very simple. So right here we just need two more points to end the match. Healed up a little bit there, I was actually almost dying. And these guys are gonna pick on me a little bit. Let me see if I think we get the last two kills right here. And there you go, I actually kamikaze bombed them and we got the victory. We got the last two points that we needed. So we actually won the match and I actually came out with the most kills, 14 kills. So it has a leveling system kind of similar to Overwatch uh, where you, you, ha you gather experience and stuff. As you get experience you do unlock more parts, uh, you get different profile icons, uh, different decals that you can put on the ship and different stuff like that so there you go there you have it that's uh strike uh vector strike ex it's actually a really cool game if you guys want to give it a try so this is luminary 180 signing out have a nice day guys